Hi guys, so last week I soldered on the wires to the C drive. Now this week I'm going to be laser cutting a frame and mounting the electronics to that frame. I'm also going to attach a pencil and then hopefully I'll be able to draw something with the CD drives. So first things first, I need to laser cut the frame. Okay, so here's the Curiosity 3D Instructables page, which I'm using for help with making this 3D printer. So in the appendix, they have this thing, and you click it. So what I did is I opened it up in the software, and originally they had Infinity logo, and it was it was missing some lines, so I replaced it with the words 3D printer. Here, there, and there. So, I just need to send this off to my school's laser cutter, and then I can get this cut in acrylic, which I can then assemble, and then I can mount the CD drives to this frame. Unfortunately, I forgot to film myself laser cutting and assembling the frame. So, here's what the laser cutting would have looked like, and here's what the frame would have looked like after it was cut. The only difference is, mine is made of acrylic, not wood. Lastly, here's the frame fully assembled, however, again, made of wood, not acrylic. Okay, so I've taken this this um file, laser cut file that I found um, on Curiosity 3D printer site, and I printed it out. I then took what I, I've been working on, these two things, and I stuck them on in the most temporary form so I can then rearrange it later on so I use tape at the moment I'm trying to attach a pencil here or a pen so it would go there and then it would move side to side but this one would move forwards and backwards okay so I've now attached um, a piece of paper to this stand here so, a bit more programming, and I think I should be able to draw something. Okay, so um, I've, I've removed the um, paper thing I had on this, because the problem was that once you've used it, um, you couldn't replace it that easily. You had to take all the tape off. I, I found out that if you just leave it with this... Um, the backing which was on the plastic it works quite nicely okay so the main thing I've been working on is this thing here um, so what it does is display um, the coordinates which are coming from this program I created so here, here is the program um, just scroll through it it's pretty, it's pretty simple okay, so I'll run the program So it comes up with this blue box, that's how you know it's worked. So you can put a plot of point here. There, like that. You can see the first one is 241, 151. So when I click enter, I should expect to see it, see it um, come up on here. 241, 151, 565. So yeah, it's showing the um, different coordinates. That means that what I've got here is a successful communication between that and this. So on this one, the idea is that I can run a program and take in these coordinates. Instead of going to here, they go to here. Um, I'll run this, see what, see what happens. I'll plot some points again. It's quite a normal pentagon shape. Let's click. Go. Interesting. I'll try another one. See what happens. No. Click play again. We'll draw some. Store like a. I don't know. So we can draw like a star shape. Okay. 
Okay, it's, it's kind of questionable. Okay, so the next step is to um, figure out what's going wrong with this program. Okay, and then hopefully I should be able to get it to work.